Hey guys, this is Echo Sourx with another tutorial for SilentTutorials.com. If you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, please sign up at youtube.com forward slash ADSR Toots, that's T-U-T-S. So in today's video, it's going to be a quick one. We're going to cover the sync and MIDI learn function inside of Silent. I got a couple questions and requests to cover those, so I thought I'd do it in one video. All right, so the sync knob or sync button rather, what it does is it tells any parameter inside a silent that would use a time value to kind of display in a note range. So let's use the LFO is the easiest way to explain it. If you have it checked, the LFOs will display in a note value that is tied to the BPM of your DAW or your host. So you can see here, if I'm scrolling through these, you got you got uh, normal note values. You have half notes, you have qu quarter notes, quarter note, you know, dotted quarter notes, and so forth. If I uncheck this, these will now be displayed as hertz values, so it's not synced to your DAW's BPM. Well, that's useful for two, two reasons. If you're doing like a wobble or a gate type sound, you're going to want to have those synced. But if you, if you just are doing more of an ambient sound, like an atmosphere, a drone, or just an FX, you may not want everything synced. And if you're doing, if you're trying to get like a more analog type vibe inside a silent, which is hard because it's a very digital sounding synth, but you can use this to like modulate your cutoff filter or, you know, the pitch of an, of an oscillator because then it adds this subtle, subtle variance to it that isn't timed to, your BP, or to the BPM of your host tempo. It doesn't have a note value. So it gets kind of a cool analog vibe. So that, that pretty much covers the sync. Now, the MIDI learn, this is a really cool function inside a silent. So if you click it, it will be illuminated. And now what you can do is literally the next knob that you click or parameter inside a silent, you then can tie to your, to your mod wheel on your MIDI controller just by moving the mod wheel. So step one, check or turn on the MIDI learn. I'm going to now touch, just click on the dry wet to my overdrive in the distortion, which I had down at almost you know 5%, so it, very negligible effect. Now I'm gonna turn up my mod wheel on my, my keyboard, and you'll see this dry wet knob move, and as it moves, you'll see the MIDI learn illuminate go off. All right, and now it's tied to my dry wet, so let's actually play a sound now. And that covers the MIDI learn. It's that simple. Now you can only have one, one feature tied to it at once. So if you click it again, and now select, this won't have an effect on the sound, but let's select resonance. And now I move my knob. Well now when I play it, you can see it's moving the resonance, but not the, the distortion. So it only does one at a time, and that's useful for when you're trying to just do some cool performance oriented things or something that you know you want to use the mod wheel. If you're going to end up actually automating different parameters in silent, it makes much more sense to load those modulations inside the you know miscellaneous destinations that you're afforded. All right, so that pretty much covers the sync and the MIDI learn inside of silent. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't checked out silenttutorials.com, Head on over there. Tons of cool new silent things posted weekly. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.